welcome to Mom's Church Home. Today we're going to do a unique project that some of you probably haven't seen done too often. We are going to take these boots, they're a little beat up, been worn pretty hard, pretty trashed out, but they're so cute and they have a, the girls have something going on this week in which they have to wear cowboy boots. So we're going to vamp these up and glitter them and we're going to start on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is you're going to make sure that there's no mud or anything like that on the boot. And then we're going to start using, I've got a, a brush that I got at Joann's for like 99 cents, a 25.4 millimeter brush, one inch. And then I'm using the Mod Podge, which is a satin finish. And you can get this at Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, pretty much any of your craft places. You could probably even get this at Ace Hardware, maybe a few other places, I'm not sure, Target. Um, it runs about $6.99 a bottle, but it goes a long way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little brush, and we're gonna use this sparingly, the glue, and we're gonna do this in spots. So I've already got a little spot already done. You don't want it on there too, too thick because you don't want it, the glue to show through. And don't worry about getting it right here. We're gonna come back later with a cloth and clean that up so it'll look really neat. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our glue and go over this one area. We're gonna do like the areas at a time that are sectioned off. And then we're gonna glitter them and then we're gonna let those dry and then we'll come back and repeat until the boot's finished. And I've done a couple different pairs of these and they come out really cute. They look custom made. I've even had people offer money for me to make those. I'll make them for my granddaughters or grandchildren, but I will not sell them unless somebody offered me a pretty hefty price. Um, you can do it yourself. This is why I'm posting the video because you can save yourself a lot of money. I know a lot of people don't have time nowadays, but it really doesn't take a lot of time. So as you can see, we're gonna take a little bit of that excess glue out of that little section right there where the meets the glitter part. And we've got just this little section glued. I'm gonna make sure it's wet. You do not want this to dry because that glitter won't adhere. And then we're gonna just take our glitter and I've got this huge red glitter bottle. I got this at Walmart. Can't remember the price, but I'm assuming it's like five or six bucks. Okay, so we're going to take the, open it on the large end, and we're going to just start spreading that glitter on the boot, just on the place that you put the glue. Now, you want to have something underneath to catch all this glitter, because you can reuse this glitter, and we can put it back in the jar once all this stuff is dry. And as you can see, I've got this one section done. It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna keep going over it a little bit, some of the spots. It's not gonna be that perfect, but it's gonna be adorable. Look at that. And we're gonna come back in a minute and show you the remainder of the boot, okay? Now we started on the glitter type. This might need a little bit more glue just because there's already glitter on this boot. Like I said, don't it doesn't matter if you go on the stitching. We're going to go back and clean that up later. All right, so you can see that it just takes a couple minutes to get that glue on there. I'm going to go ahead and start doing this section here. And we're going to go ahead and start glittering this piece. looking so cute already look at that guys look how cute that is look at that and I'm gonna go back over it again with glitter just remember you want to have something holding uh, catching all your loose glitter because you're gonna have to dump it off okay guys as you can see we have this side the right side of the boot completed and glittered we got a couple little spots I'm gonna go back over and glitter again but uh, it, for the most part you can see we started on this left side, and these boots are pretty beat up, so 
Some places might need a little extra glue, like right here in these bad spots. They'll pick up all the glitter and it'll look like new once it's finished. And I always get this little lip piece right here and just glitter it because that pink will show through and you want this to be all red. So you're gonna get a little messy, that's okay. It's worth it. These are perfect for rodeo time coming up. You know, rodeo is coming in Houston. It's a big deal here. Or Texas, I should say, but it's a big deal here in Houston. I'm gonna keep going on with the glitter. You gotta be careful too, cause I got just a couple little smidges of glitter in that Mod Podge jar. So you wanna try to get it out. Kind of thick in that spot it's pretty worn in that spot I'm gonna use my hand to try to smooth this out just a little bit and I go back over the rest of that glitter Now the glue's done, we're gonna go ahead and glitter this. This will be the remainder of the boot, and then I'm gonna go back over and just hit it with some glitter. All those little areas that we said to put the pink. You wanna add it pretty thick. You wanna be pretty generous with the glitter. And just remember, this excess glitter is gonna go back in the jar, but you're gonna let all this stuff dry first. Make sure you have no little holes peeking out that you didn't get. And that's why I kind of go over it pretty thickly with the glitter. All right, guys, there's the finished product. We're gonna let it dry, and then we'll come back. Well, we're gonna put a little more glitter right there little spot you want to do it now while it's wet but there it is and we're gonna let it dry and we'll come back in a little bit I am going to put the glitter from the first boot back in the jar you see how much glitter is in there right but the paper is very flimsy I'm a little scared it's not gonna work so I'm gonna put it on this paper plate and then we'll be able to use it'll be a little more sturdy I'm gonna just Tap the paper. We're gonna use that paper again. Gets most of the glitter off. Then what you're gonna do is take your jar, put it right here, you see all the glitter. You're just gonna fold that plate in so there's kind of a lip on it. And then you're gonna just put it right back in. You get most of it. You don't get all of it back, of course, but you get quite a bit of it. So, all right. We're gonna get started on the second boot. The boot is just about as bad as the first boot. And you've already seen the glitter process and the glue process. We're gonna come back with the finished boot. 
here in just a few minutes. Okay, when you're finished with the boot, see this is all finished, we did a couple co coats of glitter. You've got this little piece on the lip, you just wanna take a hot rag, just wipe around. Don't go on to the boot, just do the little lip, the black piece. Very carefully. Glitter that little piece right there because I touched the glue and it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to go back over with the rag, clean it up. There you go. That boot is adorable. It's guys, as you can see, they're ready for rodeo, western wear, or just a night out on the town. Go get you some Mod Podge and some glitter and vamp up your old boots. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they do. And one of these days, these boots are walking. Y'all remember that song? It's an oldie but a goodie. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. We'll bring you more videos from time to time, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great day.